So yeah. whatever's higher. Nice. And also, if you need to make any other rolls within this area, the asset will stay until you move to the next one. Cool. Okay. So it is technically better than spending to add a stunt or something. Right. Yeah. It's worth it just give you the EP for the D8 and it hangs around. Cool. Yes. (sighs) Man, I really should have made permanent ones for you before we came in here. Yeah. I know it was a jungle. Why didn't I make machetes for everyone? I don't know. You're talking about it, too. I fucking was. I think, I think it was Forgot. one of the things where basically, just because we headed half there, half of the end, half of the beginning, that we kind of basically lost our footing on weight. No, nah, um... Richie's just an idiot. Okay. Fuck that guy. Got him. God damn it. I should use a string here. Sorry, days today too. Apparently, yes. All right, this ain't anything new to me, guys. May I just cut a lot of stuff? Uh, <laughs> what? I was just gonna look to see, make sure that we're not misusing like twenty or something. Did you do anything for this? Oh. And it conjures fireplace to mark a target and make them glitter. Anything on their possession increases in material value. What? Huh. Uh, an enemy, when that's used on them, whatever they have is double the value or something. Okay. So basically, just before something we kill something, we should basically have Twink uh, glitter it, right? You can have Twink glitter it whenever. Which is only last that round. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And she makes things more valuable. You think the Doris would like her more? Well, well that's why they have her around. You don't know. They're dummies. And beside the knees. She'd be accepted if she could just grow a beard. I bet she can. <clears throat> Same girls can't grow beards, Richard. Oh, I'm saying she, she hasn't. It's her religion, dude. Come on. Her religion is to not grow a beard. Well, it's part sure. of it. <laughs> Just because you're Jewish doesn't mean your entire religion is wearing the yarmulke. I mean, it is to me. It was. Funny. I'm funny not Jewish. Jokes. Yeah, that's what they all say. Shiroko is looking at the plant stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Chew, chew, oh. cutting leaves down. I yeah. Made quite a solid roll. Yep. All right. Eleven. So. Uh, so that's an 11. All right. So Reiko is able to find, uh, she's able to find uh, a mixture of shrooms and dock plants. And uh, so she finds three dock plants, two shrooms, and some jungle medicine already made. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. Is it on a How skeleton? Much How much is each? I'm it's counting. in a crack. Bottle. It's not broken, but you know, there's damage to the bottle. How, how much is this shit? How much is what? How many shrooms did you find? What did I say? You said you some. Said you said some. some, that's why I'm asking. No, I said, I said no, no, specific no. numbers afterwards. For shrooms uh, and for dog plants, but there was no clear number for the already yeah. made medicine. Oh, there's one already made medicine. Okay. Some medicine. How much shrooms and how much plants were not said? Uh, I, no, I said I said two shrooms and three dog plants. Yeah, it was okay. two and three. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, two shrooms, three dog. All right, we're at seven of each now. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. But so... we actually now have a dog medicine. Yep, I put it at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I guess so, the question is, do I take it? Or wait? You're fine. So you're whole on everything. It's an item, uh, so if we get in combat and you have a spare item action, you can probably just do it then. 
Right. Uh, question. If I get another complication, it goes up to D10, Doc Medicine cleans it out regardless, or it only cleans out like a D8? Cleans out regardless, I think. It was just... Why? Uh, it will, it will, it will clear out the, the, uh, the original hit. Psst, wait, wait, was... So it only clears the D8. It only clears the D8. Then. Oh. Yeah. Might as well use okay, it now. Okay, might as well use it now. Yeah. No reason to hold on then. All right, black medicine going to zero, but I'll keep it down there since we'll probably make more later. Yeah, we need more. These jungle rolls are gonna get shit. Really? All right. So, Akira as Elric will get will still smell like dried blood, and Elric will reel up. Uh, do you want to roll the courage roll? Yeah, I'd love to. Akira's gonna use her bravado to reassure Elric. Oh. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, Ooh. little guy. Uh, right. Technically, I have a plus three to that, so 17. Sorry. It's okay, little guy. That would just be a straight courage roll. That was. A straight courage roll. No, that, that was your courage. Yeah. So I wouldn't have his modifier. No. Okay, well, I was adding my bravado to make him feel better. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> so, um, you're fu so do you investigate where the blood's coming from? Of course. That sounds All fun. right. So you'll find some dead rat carcasses on the ground. Rat. And they look like they've been electrocuted. It's always oh. rats. Damn it, I thought we'd have something good to fucking skin. I mean, uh... you can attempt. I will. I just meant it's a rat carcass. <laughs> so fucking lousy. It could have a gun on it. Oh yeah, fair. Yeah, I'll do the fucking uh, skinning, and I have my new that. special knife. Yeah. So. Did you write that up? No, nope. it's just a normal <laughs> knife, though. Wait. But I need to write I that asked you last time since you said it was a nice special trinket thing, and I said please write that up, and you said you would. So I assume it's not just a nice normal knife. It's a demonic one. That's what I mean. It's like the charms I found in the box. Yeah, the charms was... I just found in a box, and they gave me a nice little thing. Mm. So I said well, that, and you said, and yeah, I know, I don't know. And I said, could you write it up next time? And you said, yes, I will. I pinned it. Okay. Okay, anyway. What do I roll for carving this? To skin it, it will be your plus one. What do I no, roll to what skin die? it, Jess? Skinagence. Thank you. Uh, how much do I have? Yeah, I'm going to spend that in my intuition. How often can Rito refresh his PP? Yeah, Rito, what's up, buddy? How much can you do it? How much can I? I don't. Yeah, Rito. That's up. That's up to the next patch. What's up, Rito? Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, in combat, I can refresh it. I don't know right. how yes. I do it out of it. Yeah. You don't. Because okay. that okay. would be bust, though. Anyway. Mm. Well, I think it would be, so, like, once per box, at least. So, um, Akira manages, you know, to get rid of all the burnt and charred flesh and flat. But then she comes across some, you know, she comes, she's able to actually very, very, very well do it. So she comes up with the entire skeleton of the rat. <laughs> all right, go on. You know, like, you, you get rid of all the I broken get muscle and stuff without breaking the... <laughs> It's just the way you said it was funny, but she cuts out the entire skeleton. <laughs> oh, guys, right, go I on. got a rat skeleton. <laughs> the skeleton's the important part. Yeah. Look, I'll use it if you don't. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's pretty obvious that you can you can break it apart later if you want, but you feel like you'd also be a collector's item for those who are <laughs> text. In t in intact skeletons. I know one person who likes to collect oh, rat mean, skeletons. Okay, so I have one intact rat skeleton. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm really glad I took carving. 
Oh, what has oh. she done with the meat? Yeah, what's... Well, Remember that it was burnt and charred up. Okay. That stuff is useless. Alright. Use. Oh, rat skeleton. Yeah, okay. unlike this rat skeleton, that stuff's useless, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Hey, they're tasty. This, yeah, All but right. the skeleton is... Yeah, yeah you put it in that... some water, turn it into jelly. You get the feeling that this rat was meant to be eaten, but it looks a bit sickly, so maybe it was poisoned? So the person who was going to eat it didn't, just left okay. it. Or it might have died over there in the corner where we got the uh, potion from. Might have been a fucking electrocuted to death. It might have po done that. Poison lightning? Poison lightning? This place no, sucks. the person who wanted to eat it died was of poisoned. poison. Oh, okay. Okay, the, yeah, the animal, it ate its poison gland, I gotcha. Okay, well, I got a rat skeleton, I guess. Poison dart rats? Yeah, rat, um, <laughs> Raph, when he sees, when he looks around, he can see, like, he can see, like, a long tendril stick out of the ground and quiver. What the fuck? Okay, guys, there's a stream of magic sticking out of the ground over there. And it will go, zit, zit, zit. And it's moving now. Is it, wait, is it a tendril or oh, something? A tendril. Yeah. yeah, it's not it's magic. magic. It's yeah. just a tendril. <laughs> like a fucking... Yeah. I don't think that's magic. I think that's just a thing. Dave. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Let's stab it, I, I guess. Quit. And uh, I'll roll you an intuition room. Your magic is a plus. F General magic is a plus four. Yes. Okay, I'll halve it. Okay. All right. Raph feels like he should probably zap it. Okay. I'm feeling like I should zap it. So here I go. A uh, combat oh. roll. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a combat roll. Just a general mag. Just your zero element as a die. Uh, so that would be a d10, right? Do I have anything to that? You don't have any specific Zeo modifiers, do you? Uh, nothing with no Zeo modifiers, no. I didn't even know you can get those. Yeah, exactly. Add your magic as a distinction. We can get element modifiers? Yes. Why wouldn't we be able to? Yeah. This is the first I've heard of that. You guys are uncreative. I'm just saying, I had a quest yeah. to collect all the elements. I think I oh, should Oh yeah, what the there. fuck? Why didn't he hear about that? <laughs> Probably at the time you hadn't int hadn't introduced it yet, Ray. Okay. Yeah, I think it was what? introduced about four seconds ago. So. All right, um, I'll put that on my I list. I'm gonna it down and reuse recommended modifiers. Oh, fucking me. spicy witch. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> I, I definitely think it's something else, something raffle. Let's so try trying to pick up at least one. But here I go. So basic D10 in the roll then. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, fuck it, I'll spend a PowerPoint to add uh, my magic die to my magic die. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. So you, uh, you give this thing a right good zapping, and it will go... <laughs> it's all worth the plan. It will pop out out of the ground and smile at Raph. <laughs> Hello? It's smiling <laughs> at me. It, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I can't speak. Alright, and it will uh, it will extend a tendril towards Raph and point towards his ear. He wants to stick it in there. <laughs> Don't. Don't. <laughs> you sure? It doesn't have any thumbs to give a thumb up, but it would if it could. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I... <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad I can infer that. It... Oh, God, now I want Raph to yeah. do it. This oh, thing is disgusting. Why? It's disgusting. Whatever. We need Let's to kill stick it. a fucking tendril in your if you want. I'm not your dad. <laughs> oh, okay. 
All right, fine. Raffle it. Raffle ten. I mean, he's got a lightning bolt set up on his hand to fry the thing, but he will not do anything. All right. We're only a card, bro. Rio's just kind of freaking out over the monitor. What is he doing? What is he doing to the other party members? Right. What other party members? You're by yourself in a tent. He can Kara communicate with them. To yes. to Kara. All right. Yeah, that's it fair. feels a bit slimy, but it doesn't feel that bad. It doesn't hurt at all. And then the monster will speak again. He'll be like, Greetings, hairy one. Hello. I am Tatundalu. What? Just say that again? I am Tatundalu. Is that your name or what you are? Yes, name. Hello. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Thank you for your source of energy. I much appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. Do you know if mm. anything? Do you know if there's anything around here that causes this mayhem? Mayhem. What's that? Uh, just. The general state of those things, I sort of point to the not the carved rat, but the uncarved rats and the dead guy. Oh, that was my meal, but it was already tainted. Is there like an actual person skeleton here? Was that where we found the dog venison from? No, I, 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 what? No, was there? There wasn't actually, you didn't, Kira didn't see a person skeleton. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> Alright. Figure everything I'm saying is whatever, fucked up. Fine. Alright. Continuing on. I mean, to, to everybody else, it just seems like like Raph is, sm is smiling giddily. And you just hear the... Wudu, 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 wudu. What is he doing? <laughs> I mean, if you're... Alright. Um... Can I hear anybody else from the outside, or am I sort of like locked in a mind meld with this thing? Uh, you can. Uh, you, you're you're faintly aware of what's going on. It's not like you can't hear them if they shouted at you. All right. Do more. I guess most importantly, do I hear Rio going? What the fuck's going on? No, me don't. You're able to hear him. All right. It's communicating th to me some sort of. I don't know, it needs to touch me, I guess. Right, this would come out to Rio as a slur. There's a couple of to me. Raph, that wasn't words. Reigniting what it might have been. So it sounds like normal Raph. <laughs> Raph, those were not normal <laughs> words. <laughs> Alright, can I try and, try and uh, concentrate to en enunciate better? Mm, yeah, go ahead. It'd be another diligence. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> Things eating his mind. I give a thumbs up to Reiko. <laughs> I give a very uncertain thumbs up and I look at Akira. Um, you're the animals person. What should we do about this? Akira looks up and kind of growls a little bit because she's an Akapi and goes, That's not an animal. <laughs> Clearly it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, oh, oh, oh fucks. Uh, Bossman, your orders? I... That thing is messing with Raph. Why does it have a tentacle in his ear? Get, get him out of there. And we uh, like to... Hmm, what are you doing here within, within this, within this plane? You do um, not seem to be an inhabitant. No, we're just... We're helping some dwarves come in. Hmm. Mm, you mean... You you mean the harvesters? Mm. Yes. Hmm. Those, those, they're going to ruin the jungle. Make it into one of those places where they have metal and... And s sounds and... And... Mm, other dwarves. <laughs> well, I'm sure we can find you other places that you can live in live in peace. Hmm. 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 
Perhaps if we could fix our spaceship, we might be able to get out of here. But it has been many millennia since we have landed here. I... Could you give me a moment to speak with my friends? Okay, so meanwhile... Rio, what, what do you tell Reiko? Get that okay. thing out of her ear. Out of, out his, of ear. his ear. Yeah. Why don't you scan it first? I don't want to pick up Raph in it. Yeah, I, I like because most I, of you, because I'm frustrated. I'm like, all right, somebody at least knows what to do, and I just, you know, approach. Diving tackle Raph. Yeah, I can Raph scan it. Young. After he's safe. All right. So do you attack? Do you attack Tutundaru? Do I have to attack it to just see Young back Raph? Just, you know, grab Raph and, you know, push, pull him back? Yes. That would hurt his tentacle. Uh... As opposed to hitting him with something else. Speak! Speak to Tundra, or I shall bite you! Yeah. If I, as I said, if I see Reiko coming toward me like she's worried, can I get in when I asked? Uh, roll me a diligence. Like, you see Reiko slowly oh, wow. approaching. The tundra with eyes of red. I'm adding my magic to this. Okay. We never oh, yeah! Into the middle of the floor. Alright, Raph feels like he has to protect his friend. You gain a moment of clarity as you see Reiko, like, charging towards you. So... Um, did I get my question off to her and Wait, with what? enough time for her, him to answer it? To answer, you, I asked him. Have, please... Go. You have enough time to sound like your normal self towards Reiko without sounding okay. like a very sloppy. Got mess. it. It's just talking to me right now. It wants to basically. It's asking if we can repair its ship so it can get home. Hold off. It's not immediately aggressive. It's controlling his mind. <laughs> Fuck you, Rio. <laughs> I... You guys, you guys don't know if it's controlling his mind or not. <laughs> I, I'm assuming that. Reiko can roll understanding if she wants. I'm just assuming. I mean, do I even have enough foundation to get a roll no. in the first place? <laughs> you or you could take a negative. <laughs> Raph just sounds like he's... He, he looks very lucid. He looks very serious and composed. And this is, I mean, I mean, it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can well understand it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I think we're taking jumps here. <laughs> I am taking jumps, yes. This thing has a tentacle in your ear. I mean, look, if just if because of the situation just wants to apply some modifiers to that, I'm just gonna roll flat. Yeah. Hi. I mean, Raph doesn't look like he's he's been he's in pain. He doesn't he doesn't look like he's fighting against his will. He looks very calm and very dopey, in a good way. Like that's what Raph's always like, dopey. So I say to him, uh, "Look, we don't want to spend too much time. We have a job, so maybe let's not." Uh, yeah, has it responded to my question yet? Mm, what was your question? Give me. Uh, can you give me a minute to talk with my friends? Basically, you know, I take your tentacle out of my ear. Oh, okay. It will retract the tentacle and leave a slime trail down the rest uh, of the God. I just wipe it. All right. What it says is basically it's not from around here, apparently. It really doesn't want to deal with the dwarves, but it says if we can repair its ship, it can go home. Seems that there might be others around here as well. I don't get exactly how many. It's... Sap. It's alien, more than likely, I would guess, from what it says. It's or a not... demon. It's a demon. All things are demons. I'm not a demon. It's a... Very well, it's a demon with a spaceship. Moving on. Good enough. <laughs> do I... We have a chance to basically make a peaceful contact. Do I do that, or do we, do, or do we blast it? Somehow, I think it's gonna—it has electricity attacks in case that's important to anybody here. 
Do you know how to fix a fucking spaceship? It... I mean, I guess we could try, but like... Is a peaceful resolution to a fight or do we just blast it is the end of the question. I... Raph, I'm saying, do we know how to fix a spaceship? Where is it? What is it? I... Those are questions I can't answer, so we might not be able to, but basically Whoa. we have a... What? Hmm. Where's You're, the spaceship? Rio was basically arguing. Rio was trying to have Reiko come in and beat me, rip me out of this. So I had to basically disconnect. So I'm sorry I didn't get every bit of information. Do you want to do this? Hold on, hold on. Where's the spaceship? Hold on, hold on. So full on idiot. Okay. <sighs> Rio. Yes. Do we take? Do we try and assist or do we fight? Obviously, even if we try to assist, we cannot, then we revert back to fighting more than likely. It seems pretty obvious that... Does it even want to fight? We could just leave it. If we leave it, it will attack the dwarves. <sighs> it can't leave the area, and it, is, and it does not want the dwarf to come in because it doesn't like metals. Where is the spaceship? Where is Again, the spaceship? Again... You said you were pushing to have Reiko pull me out. I wasn't able to ask every single question under the fucking sun, guys. Where's the spaceship? I'm going back in. Accepted? So I have to ask where the spaceship is a third fucking time, Raph? In your ass. Rio. Whatever, go do it quickly. The dwarves are building the track as we speak. I sort of walk forward to him, sort of like gesturing to my ear again. Ugh. All right. I still say it's controlling his mind. He'll I stick the, the fucking spaceship back in, and uh, Raph will receive a vision, and it will reveal a part of the map where the spaceship is, up here. All right. I pull. Uh, can I, without using my mapping skill, can I just sort of put it out on a map, piece of map to show them? We have to go through the whole jungle to fix it. We have to go ha almost all that way anyway. I know, but like, is it gonna be okay with the dwarves walking through for us to get to the ship? Well, I mean, if it's not, then it's a cunt. <laughs> Tell it the dwarves are gonna walk yeah. past with us. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. So, alright, once I have that, I do tell them, look, we're right now, it can... If you and any of your allies wait by there, we will get to you as soon as we can. We have to basically first get the door. Or we could use the tunnel. Yeah. But only lead us to here. Let's just see if it'll be fucking retarded or not first. Yeah. So I do, I'm saying that. Basically, we can't help you, but we cannot help you at this, at, precisely at this moment. Is that acceptable? Hold on. Why not? Well, right now, we're unfortunately under contract for with another group. Once we are clear of that, we'll more than happy take up your contract. Why is it talking like that if it's in his ear? I mean, that's part of the sound it makes as well as talks. It's a comforting sound to it. You'll be like, mm, you, you're the first person who has let me put a tentacle in that ear. Hmm. How does it know what an ear is? It's, it's not a hard thing to guess. It's an alien. It just doesn't have yeah. the same words we do. It clearly doesn't have them. Hmm. Just because we don't have words. Mm, fuck it. And uh, he'll be like, the Tilda Dove, it, it will wait here and it will not attack the dwarves, but it's really hungry. So if you get it something to eat, he will tell his people. There's a bunch of rats over there. there. They're poisoned. Um, Oh my god. What would you like? To... We actually, uh, we can place you someplace in a sort of like stasis where you don't have to worry yeah, about I hunger at all. Yeah, just put him in the full card. Yeah. He'll be fine. He doesn't get hungry in there. We have a place that we can, and then you don't have to worry about any of the dwarves at all. For you or your allies or friends. Don't get What's hungry full card? I didn't say that. Yeah, what the fuck? He's in your brain, oh. Raph. I'm assuming he's only doing surface thoughts, or am I wrong on this? I don't know. Yeah. No. I thought you were. I, I thought you were. No, he said a space. Yeah, he I thought you guys space. were saying you should put it in the full card in character. Oh. 
No, I didn't say that. I said it in chat. Things I say in chat aren't said for real. Things I say aren't even real. <laughs> I'm not even real. Same. Loot. I offered it basically a place that it can go where it doesn't have to worry about those elements. I figured it was a spaceship, they might understand stasis, so I said that. Mm. Mm. State. It will, it, will, it will wriggle the tentacle around a bit. It'll be like, state of non... You don't know what this thing does. Please don't read my mind more than surface thoughts. Mm. And I understand that, that I understand it. enough to basically yeah to basically be confident of what I'm uh, suggesting. Yeah, you don't seem malicious. It's just and when it when it says you you don't know what it does, it's like wow, that's surprising. You have this powerful tool, but you don't know what it does. Yeah, fascinating. Mm. How much space? Enough um, for all of your crew. My, he says, hungry. You Just, won't be hungry. My kin are scattered around the forest. They need food as well. As we come to them, if you get, if you tell me what to say to them, we can place them all in the into this into the space, and they won't have to worry about that until we deal with the ship. And then take out the ship. Yes. Do you promise? I am a man of my word. Yes. As in, like, do you make a geese promise? No, not yet. <laughs> Just to take them to the spaceship? You're not going to make that promise? I mean, if they're good, if I'm trying, Raph is trying to avoid making promises to every Tom, Dick, and Harry, or Squiggly, as this case may be. To Tundalo. To one, I, 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 I can very pronounce, I can very pronounce Raph. Don't, don't think of it. To Tundalo. Oh, fuck you all. <laughs> to win. To tundra, fuck! To tundra, it's really easy. To turn no, to no. You're all assholes. <laughs> I can just speak English. <laughs> I cannot. I'm not an asshole. Just call him Tutu. Got it. Um, so the question was to him. Uh, all right. So you're not going to make a promise, but the... But I made a promise so about making promises. a geese. He's just not making a geese. Yeah, so you are genuinely are planning on taking them yes. to the spaceship. There is no okay. deception in, in Raph's mind at all. Okay. This is a... It will accept. Did it also give me some sort of code to tell its friends so that as we come across them, we can absorb them? Mm. It will think for a bit. It's under... And then... It will take out. It will take out this thing here, and it will cut off one of the tentacles and give it to Rash. Okay, I will take one of its tentacle pieces. And it will grow back one. Got it. And uh, he will say, uh, "Stick this in ear when want to talk." The other half. Oh, the other half will attach to their tentacle bit. Got it. Thank you. Basically, um, if you approach with this in the ear, they know that you are friendly. Got it. Once he disconnects, um, I as go, soon as he disconnects, I'll... Rio goes glub glue plab bleep blue to ref. So what did it say? <laughs> uh, it wants basically. I organized it so that I can put him and all of his uh, crew members into the full card, and then later we'll basically take them to their ship and hopefully repair it. That's the deal I cut with it. <sighs> Wonderful. Take the card. Or we'll send it. <laughs> Huh. I wonder how long it's been I've had this. And I'll put him in the card. Alright, so you put the Tundalu yep. into the card. Cool. And the Tundalu is... You didn't, you didn't geese him that promise, right? No, you no. didn't. Alright, cool. We're keeping these aliens. But Raph genuinely intends to get you these yeah. aliens. Sure. I fine. We'll take them to the spaceship, yeah. and we'll take the spaceship back to our domain. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Okay. Yes, I actually will. We can't repair it here. Yeah. Okay. I'll let me see what Arcana would be. Uh, uh, <laughs> I guess it would be 
Please be the tower. Please be the tower. I'll Please be the tower. tower. It's alien. Well, it's... <laughs> alien. It's war. It's the world. <laughs> yeah, I could see a case for the tower, considering it crashed down into, into this place. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke I was making. Yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Tatendalu. All right, All right cool. And, for, and just, yes, I know it's going to be fucking weird, but whenever we encounter these guys again, I'm supposed to stick the tentacle into my ear, and it will connect with them, and I can talk with them and tell them what's going on. All right, sure. Okay. Whatever you want to do with your life, Raph. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wet willy, but, you know, yeah. it's gross. I do, uh. basically, I'm... Getting, try to dig out all the crap in my ear. But yes, uh, Don't expect just me general... to help you. Get all the shit's <laughs> wet, it's boo for it's healing rat. Yeah. Just general yeah. common sense is that um, for Akira, like, there are rats here, but they will not attack unless provoked. Okay. okay. Akira will inform Rio of the ecology of the system area. You get, I mean, uh, be careful you, you, of the rats. They uh, won't attack because unless provoked. Yeah, you might want to keep a good eye out on the ground because you might accidentally step on their home or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. will so tell. Them a heads up. I will tell the builders not to build on any rat nests unless you want to kill a bunch of rats. <laughs> they might. They sound like that sounds good. Could that means it's tasty. Oh my oh. fucking god. <laughs> oh, I really these... like this mission. It's really fun. Uh... Yes, are, are these Discworld dwarves? <laughs> yes. God hey, fucking. Can we abandon this mission? <laughs> fucking full of Tatunderu and autism. Uh, whatever. The dwarves will. They'll. No, we need these dwarves. You're being mean to me, Ray. Why? I'm not being mean. It's Ray. It's a Sunday. You said it's autism and fail. You want to quit? What? Joking. It's hyperbole. It didn't feel like a joke. Alright. Where do you want your square to go? Up. Oh, uh, right on top. Right on top. Up, up, okay. and away. Like, ignore all the side paths for now. Further, yeah, we're cutting the direct route. Even further beyond. Yep. To infinity and beyond. Hell, we should just grid out this place to begin with. It's. F- I was going to, but just deleted my square. Oh. Yeah, because it would get confusing. No, we're just in the squares we're in. Those well, I are the current without, I guess without squares basically shows us where we have not been All as much right. to where we have. But All right. We could just change the color of the squares that, as you go. That one's fair, I guess. All, All right. right. So, so party up. team. Who even knows what to do? It's Sorry. a very monotonous job. Right. Oh, wait, I need to roll your fever first. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Fever first. So uh, this will be for this will be for Ryu. Woohoo! This, this will be for Kaharu. Wow. <laughs> Wow! This will be for leader. Sick. Wow. <laughs> okay, and uh, this I'm gonna. I this meant to be a one to one ratio. What? Yeah. That, wait, <laughs> it is. That, no, wait. The weight is wrong. What the fuck? Is it? Yeah, it's weight five. What? No, I'm. Ch- it's meant to be one. Okay. No. I'll let this stay. But. Nice. Uh, I meant it will be the same weight. Considering we rolled a bunch of bad ones earlier, what's the other thing's weights? They're all up. The other ones are all one. That's exactly. unfucking believable. How the fuck <laughs> did we roll the bad ones before? I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, what I the don't f- either. Fucking Lamau. Fucking sick. Well, theoretically it's... speaking, when that was five and those were ones, there was a 50 50 chance of getting good or bad. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, how often are you ticking this, Jess? It sounds like every um, every time we move into a new space. I said fifty fifty. Well, we went through. Fair, then. <laughs> we went through three squares before the first one happened. Anyway, this will be for uh, Anvil. <laughs> He's frustrated or, def- or desperate. Anvil. Right. Which one do you want? Hmm. 
Well, he doesn't. Desperate. I and this will be for right. Left. No, it's right. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. No, uh, the one D eight. You want? You want a D eight or D turn? A one D eight, please. One D eight. All right. Please. Okay. Remember the um stuffs in the mine cart. So, if you want to make some medicine, Anvil would appreciate it. Yeah. Well, um, Ryu is doing the digging. Can Kaharu do medicine? Oh, he's do one for Ryu as well. Yeah. No, I'm not in the jungle. He's not in there. He, he's in the domain. No, he's in Jeffrey. I went back into Jeffrey. You went back into Jeffrey, but you need to be in the domain to finish the the the, the foraging thing. He doesn't. He's navigating. He can't forage. He's not. In the no, he's in like to get the mother fire. Can he? Oh. What? I didn't know that bit. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm in the domain. All right. Rayo's frustrated. All right. So you want to make any medicine? Uh, yeah, Kahar will make some medicine, sure. Since there's a fuck ton. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's two to one. one. Yeah, two, two plants to one room. All right, well, I'll make three, I guess, then. Considering this status effect is theoretically happening at the same time Raph was doing the tentacle yeah, thing, make that makes sense. sense. Yeah, sure. All right, so anyway, yeah, I made, I made three medicines. Uh, yeah, I don't have to pay. Nice. Oh, I don't have a favor. Uh, I'll make one. And then I'll eat my two. Oh. All right. So, is you gonna give one of the medicines to Andrew? Sure. Yeah. All right. So he will smile and be like, "Thanks, Lassie." Uh huh. It's the first time he's spoken to you. I know. It's a big improvement. <laughs> All right. He'll get one smiley face. One. Smiley face, yeah. All right. Do you want, okay. do you want, to, use any, do you want to use any medicine on the, uh, on the? Uh, what is it? Uh, right. Uh, what's he again right now? I think he's desperate. Desperate. Does anyone mind if I use a medicine on right? I want smiley faces. I mean, you're. I'm not in that conversation, so. He's desperate. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm asking, like, you think it's worth it? But yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll use the smiley face. I don't know. I mean, I would say we'll save it for the dot for the negatives, but nah, I'll use the smiley face medicine on him. All right. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay. a lot of it depends on basically how much we find. I mean, because if it's if these are rare items, we gotta hoard them. If they're plentiful, then you know we can. No, we're them. not saving the somas for the final boss and then not using them. Okay. I'm not... The thing Just... is, right. We'll yeah, find I, just don't know. I, I, I will continue searching for them because that's the thing that I am pretty good at. So we will always you, have plenty. Are you going to use it on right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I did. We, we said that. Okay, you get a smiley face. Thanks. He will nod. Thought I got one. Earned it. All right. So, uh, who here? Does anybody have sight? Yes. Yeah. Car does. Think... All yeah, right. So, and no, uh, Rio, Rio can help pitch in. Technically, but he'll get a, he'll get a minus. He'll get like a minus two since he's not actually there. He's just navigating. So, uh, go ahead and roll sight to try and avoid rats. <laughs> All right, uh, here. Let me see if I have any relevant modifiers to avoiding rats real quick. Uh, you'll have to, um, you'll have to beat my counter roll. Oh, okay. So tell me who goes first, and I'll roll the counter roll. What do you mean, who goes first? Uh, all right, hold on. Well, so, um... I think everybody has to roll. <clears throat> Rat avoidance sounds like. Yeah, 
I mean, it'll be. My navigator modifier help. So it does detect enemies when that nests be enemy. I don't know. They're passive. A sex sound is that? Well, they're they're, they're, that's, they're basically trapped effectively. I know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's you can have half of it. Half of it. That gets rid of my negative. All right. So, uh... Ooh, we're glad I did that. Yep, sight. All right, so Rio's not really able to help. All right, I need to be a seven. Ooh. All right. So, so, I mean, it's only by one. So, Kaharu will very carefully tread around. And she will see two rats just above her feet. Oh no, the rats are both like what this is. And it will snarl. Like, no, she'll jump away, surprised, but not step on it. Hopefully. And get two people. Maybe mark out the territory? What's that, Jess? I can't hear you. Are you trying to speak? The rat's trying to speak, but it's really oh. quiet. Oh, okay. She'll lean down, I guess. Yes? <laughs> Hello? Chi Chi. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, we don't have it because we broke the other one to get the maka. No, I think I have one from before. Ah, uh, I might. You'd have one from before? We can't. I thought, no, that's, that was on Akira. Damn it. We can't take cards out of a domain, they disappear. What? Just... It's only for the card one you can bring it back in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, yeah, this counts as an inter. All right. So them. remember that Ryu has his coins as well. Okay, use some of those, please. Yeah, that's Ryu. very, very useful to have. So how many of this would I have to use? It's just a tiny rat, so uh, it wants five coins. Right, give him five coins. That okay, one thanks. will scamper away. And then... Choo, 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 choo. Nope, I'll do some of that. He can have some uh, emotional stress from Kohara. Hold on, I need to choose a type. Uh, oh, I thought... Okay, okay. So, yeah, let's, I'll still do it. What's the blood? It will, it, will, it, will, it, will, it, will, it will gnash its teeth towards Kohara's ankle. I mean, yeah, you can take some. It's uncomfortable, but... It'll be it, will, it, it will nibble. Thanks. It'll be a nip. Oh, well, those teeth are sharp. Don't try to be cute when you're biting me, asshole. <laughs> I don't say that as Koharu, Jess, in case you can't tell. I don't think Koharu is capable of saying something like that. Yeah, exactly. Alright, the rats disappear. Good. Fuck you're able to here. avoid, you know where their home is. You're Good. about to step on it. Oh god, we know where those assholes are. <laughs> you, you Let's can, kill them you later. See... You can you can hear the wailing of the tiny baby mice in there. Okay, those those are rats, not mice. Yep, <laughs> mice are um, not just small rats. <laughs> idiot. Uh, why was the uh, forage point moved? Oh, somebody moved it. Oh, who's an idiot? <laughs> okay. That's there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was on that one. Yeah, just. All right, all right. So uh, you're able to avoid the rats, and uh, you. S I mean, you guys notice where Tatunduru came out from, and it's another borough. All right, all right. Does someone want to go diving in? We know the creature's no longer there. Oh yeah, let's go see what's in. Let's see where it leads us. Because yeah. Tatunduru is gone now, so we're safe, right? That's the implication, Jess. Yeah, that's the implication. Go look. I'd like to check with Jess. I mean, yeah, that's the implication. Ouch. It's like you hate me. Well, you could always send right in first. Yeah. Right, go poke your head in, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess he'll Everyone go and... I guess he'd do it then. Yeah. All right. 
he's going to uh, he's going to roll his diligence. All right, he'll do it. All right, cool. Especially since you gave him the medicine. Yeah, he's All got right. it's pretty nice. He will go in, and he'll be like, "There's a tunnel. Right, Follow." Cool. Yeah, let's see where the tunnel leads. Alright. What do we got? Hold on, I need to do some so hmm. Okay. There. Alright. Alrighty. Oh wow, it just there? leads cube ahead. Oh, hey, we could just skip it, like... it ends up in the cave though. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. He's in the cave. Yeah. I mean, do you guys, I still think we should avoid and just take the safe trail because I think we can get to the spaceship and the destination for the path faster than risking it in the cave. But how do you guys feel? I've just been going off that assumption myself. Caves are kind of scary, and it's freaking me out that there are shortcuts into various parts of it. Yeah. Right. And that those shortcuts only lead. I mean, we could theoretically. Theoretically, it could be quicker to find another shortcut that leads out like here, but yeah, but that's yeah, right. But they this shortcut could lead, lead up to there. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think we can just uh, keep going on the trail. Yeah, I think the above path is the best right now. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Right. You are safe. Cool. All right. So um. As the as the finding group goes into the next square, I need you to roll your courage. Oh, fuck yeah! Okay, fuck yeah, you do. Can I add my uh, any of my modifiers? Yes. No, it's just a straight courage. <sighs> okay. It's oh, a visceral it's a one. Okay. Whatever, it's a D twelve. I have visceral modifiers. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it into consideration. I've okay. got my stubborn willpower and my primal senses and my bravado. No, that's not. All right. Bravado, maybe. Uh, what's your primal senses at? Plus two, I think. Let me check. Plus two, yeah. Okay. So as you guys come in here, it's in plain sight, but you hear a lot of growling and prowling around and snarling. We hear yeah. prowling around. Ooh, I'm me okay. companion. And you see these giant tigers. Ah, oh, those... a tiger! Those are, those are just dire cat. tigers. Neat. Yeah, but you're also a prey animal right now. Yeah, but I can speak cat. I was just fucking shit scared. But if Kira's out, we're able to keep him under control. Good. All right. I want to speak up to them and ask them, "What do you want?" Oh, you need to change. That's the giant table. talking lunchbox. What did you say, Jess? I mean, if you uh, hold on, let me read what Glinda does. Uh, because you did take her with you, didn't you? Of course. All right, one minute. My loyal companion. <laughs> So Glinda's a domestic cat, but, you know, Glinda can talk to the tigers, but you wouldn't know how to talk to the tigers, but she can translate for you. Oh, oh I thought I spoke cat, okay. You speak domestic, completely different dialect. Yeah. And uh, Glinda will kind of be like, hmm, these seem to be quite the magnificent creatures, uh, mm, ancestors of mine. Uh-huh. Glinda will flop out. Her belly will touch the ground. Okay. All right. You wish to treat with these creatures? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Would you want me to handle it, or should I simply be a mouthpiece? Mm. What would you prefer? I mean, I feel like I'd like to talk to them, but... Mm. I mean, you know... Mm. Well, I am royalty, so I may have more of a sway, but it, uh, you are my champion, so it really should be your job. All right, I'll do it. Mm. What do you wish to say to these 
creatures. Hmm. I want to ask them if they're going to be any trouble. Glinda will look at you as you like. Are you sure? In that exact, if in that exact tone and that exact phrasing. Do you think that's coming on too strong? I want to start intimidating. You can ask the rest of your party members if you. I'm can. asking Glinda too, but I'll ask them. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they are bloody f***ing tigers. So? I, they don't scare you? Kira blinks. No? I was gonna ask if one of them wants to come along. You are... Sure. Ah, fucking weird. And Twink will be like, Oh, you can talk to these things as well. I just thought you were... Abomination. No, I'm not. <laughs> hmm. I suppose you're more than just a thing. Wow, thanks. You really know how to give those compliments, don't you, Twink? <laughs> you seem to talk like you're a human. I am. Until I see it, I don't believe it. Really? Part fairy disbelieving in right. Okay, let's what? not keep let's not keep these magnificent creatures uh waiting. Mm -hmm. All right, so Akira okay, will uh go up with Glinda, I guess, and look towards the tigers. Are they all kind of trot trotting along in a pack, or is there a big tiger? Hmm. You don't see a big one, but you think there should be one. Mm -hmm. All right, so Kira will look over them and ask them to say, ask them where their actual leader is. Mm. Just to where confirm. is your leader? And the Tice will be like, what do you want to know about it, pretty bitch? I'm and not Glinda... talking to runts. And the uh, Glinda will be like, he called me a, a pretty bitch. I know. Tell him he should mind his man. Remember. Like, remember, she's translating. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Tell him to mind his manners. Tell him he's talking to me. Glinda will look at towards Akira, the, the fuck if I know, and be like, if you say so, and uh, be like, mind your manners, you're talking to me. No, <laughs> not exactly. exactly. No, she meant Akira. Yes, to me, Jess. The first so thing Glinda should say, you're a hero. Glinda's not retarded. Yeah, I mean, she asked if she should say exactly what you were No, saying. Jess! <laughs> Fuck Stop off. bullying me. You're the one trying to twist my words into this shit. By the way, just real quick, Akira did ask if he else was going to go up with her, right? Or not? Did I mishear that? What do you mean? In the advance... I could have sworn that she... Fuck it. All right, I'm out. Uh, okay. Dave. Uh, all right. <laughs> sure. All right. So, okay. So, uh, we're like, oh, that thing, that looks tasty. Uh, not much meat, but the bones will make a nice crunch. Akira's going to sneer at them. And go. And you'll I... say, she said that you were lean and on the appetizing, but you'll be good for, I suppose, cleaning their teeth out. She'll exaggerate a bit. Okay. Um, could I, could we not hear what the tigers say and then hear what Glinda says, since we only know what Glinda is saying, we don't know what the tigers that's, are saying? That's true. Okay. Yeah, so I like also, point literally out that any only Kira of... knows what Glinda's saying, also. Yeah, no, I know, I got all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I'm just saying to clarify this mess, because, yeah, we, we don't need to hear what they're saying. Okay. For all we know, they could be the most politest people in the world, and Glenda's just pulling our chain about this, so we can't... So, knowing what they actually say, then Glenda... Uh, whatever, gun. But, okay, I, I get the point. I still don't get why they're not actually showing us where their leader is, since I really don't want to talk to Runtz. So, can you just reiterate that? And, uh, alright. And then... Rah, rah, rah. And then Glenda will say... <laughs> They don't think that you can take them in a fight. 
a curable steering go. Yeah, I could. Ask him if one of them wants to fight me. <laughs> they say they have.